um, you know, for the last year, uh, I think in part because the pandemic made it harder to interact, we've spent a little bit of extra time in worship uh, trying to connect with people online and in person. Really, we've tried to figure out how we could pray for people, hear how God's been working in them, and Christine and Austin have been a part of that, and you can see Austin is still here taking prayer requests, and uh, we'll be praying for that. In fact, if you're online or if you're in person, uh, you can still let us know how we could pray. We still want to hear from you. We, we still will pray for you. Uh, but this week, we're going to try something a little different. It's Mother's Day, and I asked Christine to, uh, instead of waiting for a request, to ask some women, some moms, if they could uh, share with us how we can best pray for them and how support them, how we can support them. And uh, I think we can all benefit from listening in and learning from uh, how God's been moving and working with them and answering prayers and the challenges of this last year. So my hope is that as we listen a bit, we'll get a better idea of how to pray and how to encourage these moms and other moms as they tell us how God's been working in their lives and in this community. And I'm really looking forward, I, honestly, I don't even know who's behind me right now, um, but I can't wait to hear what they have to share. So Christine, if you could introduce folks and uh, let's just hear how God is working and how we can best pray. Sorry about that. Well, happy Mother's Day, and thank you all for being a part of this and being put on the spot for a few minutes. But I'm thankful for all of you being in our church community and being examples for me personally as a new mom, so I'm thankful for all of you. Um, so to get started, Brittany, I'm gonna put you on the spot first. Being a mom of four and navigating school during a pandemic, what was a low of the year, and how did God pull you out of this? Um, I will say I am no teacher at all. Um, through virtual school and, you know, navigating having a baby during the pandemic and everything, the biggest thing for me was fear. Uh, there was a lot of fear throughout the year. Fear that I was making the right choice of virtual school or home and how to just organize the day. Um, and I remember praying so hard at the beginning of it and, you know, just God telling me to take it day by day. And if I wake up one day and I need to take it hour by hour, then you take it hour by hour. Um, and at the end of the day, what gets done gets done. And that's that. So as long as the kids are happy and healthy at the end of the day, that's what we're going for. <laughs> no, that's great. Do you have any advice for anyone that might be struggling with or being in the same situation? I would say the same thing, you know, reach out to God. I mean, if, if this was the year of let go and let God, it was this year. Um, really, this was the year of really not having any control, and, and all you can really do is pray through it. Um, and like I said, take it day by day. Um, that's, I think that's the only thing that could have gotten us through this year. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Okay, Rebecca. Is this on? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Rebecca, as a first-time mom, your baby is not quite a baby anymore. She's 10 months? Yeah. 10 months old. Um, as a first-time mom, a new mom, if you're a mom, you've been a first-time mom, um, how can the church community best support you as a new mom and someone in the church um, and other moms around you? Well, it was definitely weird being a first-time mom during a pandemic. Um, when I got pregnant, it was not a pandemic. So all the expectations I had kind of went out the window. Um, but I would just say probably just be honest and open. You know, being a first-time mom, you don't know anything. And you're, it's such a huge learning curve. And I think society has kind of glamorized it a little bit, in a sense. Um, so when you're a first time mom and these things happen to you and you, your expectations are kind of thrown out the window, like you can't, your birth plan isn't 
as it would have been pre-pandemic, um, you just have the support of the community, um, advice, but nice advice, like not like pushy, unwanted advice. Um, just be kind and understanding and empathetic and try to help when you see someone struggling. Um, and like, I'm so grateful for, for Teen because I wouldn't have gone to the IF conference if she hadn't kept just like sending me messages like, hey, just, just a reminder, you know, like we got this going on. So, you know, just like come, it's fine. And I'm such a introvert, so it's so hard for me to like get out and do things. So her just like kindly just being like, hey, we got this going on. I think you'd really like it and learn from it and grow from it uh, was really helpful. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. Well, I'm thankful for you, and actually Hillary too, I've told you guys this before, um, being a first time mom, like you really are kind of clueless, like <laughs> the blogs and stuff don't really tell you what happened. So I'm thankful for you guys just being like open and honest, like good, bad, the ugly that like happens and not like, oh, it's like a miracle, which it totally is, I'm not taking yeah. from it. But there's some things, so I appreciate you guys just being like real into like what mom is like. <laughs> okay, Sarah. You are a mom of four boys. <laughs> I feel like I have to say that. Four boys. Um, when it seems to the outside world that you have it all together, what are some struggles you have experienced, and how did God see you through these? Um, well, honestly, I think that all of us struggle. And if you ever look out there and see someone that you think has it all together, you're probably mistaken, because none of us have it all together, right? I mean, we come to church, we know at the outset that we're all sinners. We're all failing in some capacity. Um, and, and that's probably one of my biggest struggles is that feeling of inadequacy, that feeling of, um, you know, no matter how hard you try or how much you prepare, uh, there's so much at stake that you're, you're failing in some way. Um, and the only way really that I have been able to deal with that is sort of just, it's so appropriate we are just thinking about grace because you have to lean into that and know that God can use the most flawed of us, you know, even me, even the lowest sinner, you know, he can use us for, um, for his purposes and, and for better good. So, um, you know, don't get caught up in the Christmas card syndrome where <laughs> we strive so hard for that moment of what looks like perfection. And I love doing Christmas cards. I spend a lot of time and effort, right? <laughs> Thanks. Matching outfits, you know, but at the end of the shoot, you're talking through gritted teeth and, and smiling with a, a fake smile and you're threatening and bribing the kids to like behave for one second so we can just get a picture. Um, but, you know, motherhood is, is so much different than that because it's day in and day out drudgery sometimes, and it's such a long-term goal. You're raising people, you know, hopefully to follow Christ and, you know, live their life for him, and it's such a, a bigger, so much more at stake um, than that picture-perfect uh, way it seems sometimes. Uh, what would your advice be to someone who uh, may be struggling in the depths of having kids and um, just overwhelmed, because we've all been overwhelmed, but what's something that maybe one, one tip, one or two tips that for that person that feels like they're drowning right now? I feel like I'm not very good at giving this advice because I'm so terrible at taking it. I, you know, if I'm struggling, I tend to withdraw, but I feel like that's probably the worst thing that we can do, um, even, especially as moms. You know, we need to reach out. We need to, uh, involve people in our lives that are there for us and that, that can help us and, and help us through those struggles because I guarantee you that we're all struggling with something, big things, small things, um, and we need a community of people around us. We need our families. We need our friends to really help us through those, especially, you know, godly women like we have in this church that, that are here for you if you, if you need us. I just want to encourage those moms that are not in this season, that are past this season of new babies, young children, if you've already done that already, don't forget about us. We need you. <laughs> Come up to us, give us a hug, give us a pat on the shoulder, say it's going to be okay, because it will be. We all know it's going to be okay eventually. <laughs> um, but I just encourage you moms um, to just don't forget about us, that we need you. We need your encouragement. Um, even if it's a word, you know, a simple couple words on a Sunday morning, um, just, I just want to encourage you guys to do that.
Well, thank you ladies for being a part of this and happy Mother's Day again. Um, but as we close, I'm gonna have Eric come give us a word of prayer. Let's, let's pray. Dear Lord, we just wanna to come to you on this special Mother's Day and we just wanna just say thank you for the mothers that you've given us, Lord, and thank you for the blessing that they've been in our lives. We just, we ask that you, that you continue to hold them up Everybody, Lord, the new mothers, the old, the old mothers, the grandmothers, we just ask that you, that you just give them what they need, give them the strength they need, give them the strength they need to lean on you, Lord, and know that you're, you're the one that pulls us through all this. We just thank you for everything they do for us, everything they mean to us. We just especially, we also want to pray today, Lord, for the, for the husbands and help the husbands to be a strong foundation for these mothers, Lord, and, and, and good fathers and good examples for the family. We just ask that you that you help them to, to, to provide for their wives the strength and the support that they need. We just, we once again, Lord, we just want to thank you for our mothers and just help us to not celebrate them just today, Lord, but, but every day of the year. In Jesus' name, amen.